Kenan, this morning I'm joined by newly crowned Miss South Carolina, Jada Samuel. Hi! So excited to have you in this morning. First off, huge congratulations. Thank you so much. You had quite the crowd at Miss South Carolina. I did. It's like so many people outside of my family were also rooting for me. Yeah. So there are so many screams in the background of the video. It's, it's been crazy. In case you didn't know, Jada is a Greenville girl and she represented yes. Bridge City in this year's competition. And Jada, where did you go to school? I went to Southside High School for high school and Hughes Academy for middle school. And I'm still a Robert E. Cashin. Uh, alum yeah. of my elementary school, so yeah. <laughs> well, it, when you were at USC, uh, she actually was a broadcast journalism major, yes. and you worked in news for a little bit. Yes. Um, tell us about your talent, because broadcast journalism segue to, I thought it was called spoken word, spoken poetry, what is it called? It's actually a dramatic monologue. Yeah. So I grew up doing theater and speech and debate at Southside, mm -hmm. and so I thought that I didn't have a talent, and this year Miss America made her story, and actual talent. So I've been doing the same dramatic monologue style of talent for four years now and this year it was recognized as her story and so I was able to share a story about purpose. Wow and it was really good. Thank by the you. Way. And it won talent did it not? It did not win it, talent but another monologue did so it, yeah I feel like there's been space created for monologues yeah. to, to be powerful at Miss South Carolina and other state pageants now. If you don't follow Jada on social media we'll uh, post all the links so you can but uh, something that was super inspirational that you posted before you were even crowned was talking about how you competed in Miss South Carolina five times. Yes. And you even aged out at the age of 26. Talk to us about that yeah. process. So I'd competed um, starting at the age of 21 and at 25 last year I was like, oh no, I aged out. Yeah. It's my last year and I was just excited to be able to end on the high note that I did last year. And when Miss America changed the age limit, I was like, this is a sign. I'm going back, I'm doing it, I'm following through on this dream of mine. Yeah, uh, and you're a busy girl. I mean, this yes. morning we're like, she's so awake at six <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Uh, what will you spend this year doing? And you're prepping for Miss America, when is that? Miss America is going to be in January, but before then, I will be spending the entire year of service implementing my community service initiative, which is called I Shape Me, empowering girls to lead through mentorship. Yeah. So I will be making school visits, college tours, and also visiting corporate um, and adults to yeah. talk about, you know, getting engaged with mentoring programs throughout our state. Yeah, mentorship is so important. She's it also is. a member of the Theta Gamma chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority I Incorporated. Am. We're sorors. Yes, so, we are. So yeah, we're so <laughs> proud of Jada. She's homegrown. She'll be representing the state of South Carolina. Huge win and representing the upstate in the best way she knows how. Before we go, favorite local businesses or restaurants to support here? Oh my gosh, you introduced me to mac and cheesecake. Oh, that's my and place. oh my goodness, they are so, the so, bomb. so good. Okay, you hear that mac and so cheesecake? So I'm have to I, give them a call. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get one to celebrate. Okay, like a whole one. <laughs> I need a whole one <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> you heard it here. Okay, Mac and Cheesecake, one of her favorite local places. Thank you so much for joining us, Jada. We're so proud of you. you. We'll be back right after this break, but uh, your morning buzz is up next. Aaron.